Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my usual channel once again. Welcome to another unboxing video. Today I got the Cool Lance RPV400 Revision 2. I was going to do an unboxing on Tuesday, but there was a mistake on Performance PC and the same with the Revision 1, and I was ordering the Revision 2. But it was lovely and kind enough to send me the Revision 2 first before I send the Revision 1 back to Performance PC. So I'm going to move the camera down right now. Let me adjust the camera. Right. Perfect. So today I got, I've been having these two on Tuesday already. I got this just right down from the United States Postal Service from Performance PCs. So first things first, let's leave these two for last. Sure about this thing right here. So this is the Coolance RPV, I mean R, RP400 Revision 2. So let's see what comes inside the box. Of course, you got your installation guide to help you how to set up your um, the pump top, how to install the pump into the pump top, and then how to install the anti cyclone, and how to teach you and how to follow help you, excuse me, to install your reservoir on it. So that's how it is. Very nice in detail and also in color. Now we're gonna move on to the first product right here. Now this is the anti-cyclone right here. I'm actually going to take out the bag but I can show you guys a lot more better. So this is how it looks. So that's how it looks, the anti-cyclone. So what this helps a lot when it comes to, on a, when it, especially when it comes to selling the reservoirs. Um, it, it, Inside the cylinder reservoirs, there sometimes it creates a, a cyclone, which is kind of a bad thing. So basically, what it does, it brings air back to the loop and brings air into the pump. This little baby right here, this um, acrylic thing right here, helps you to avoid that problem. It won't create uh, a cyclone. That means no air into your loop, which is a good thing. It also comes with um, Phillips heads on um, plastic screws also to tie it down on the top of the reservoir. I mean on the top of the pump top. Now this right here is this is an adapter. This is the other end will mount your pump top and then the top of it will mount your reservoir. Moving on. Now this is the pump top itself. You put your I think it can fit any type of DDC pump even like mine's. Mine's is like even though it's a re rebrand is the the pump I'm using on my system right now just in case you guys want to know I'm using the MPC 35X which is still is a still is a DDC pump which it will fill in this baby and I have a very good idea how I'm going to mount this which I'm going to show you guys um, when I finish doing the build by tomorrow because I don't have no distilled water so moving on now this is the most important thing I like about the Revision 2 compared to Revision 1. The Revision 1, you can never adjust this and the holes, the four holes is off center. And the way you had to mount that on the Revision 1, if you have one, you had to mount your DDC pump on an angle. On this one, you don't. It just mounts it just like that, so then the pump is going to be right there, the pump top, and then the cylinder reservoir, and then the top. That's it. And the good thing also, you can adjust this from anywhere to a 80 millimeter to a 140 millimeter. So I really like this from Coolance because if you have a per, you're a person who likes to go with like a full size style case or that beautiful case from Corsair, which is the 540, that cube case. If I was going to build on that system, I would go with this automatically. Not even go with the DC version, I would go with the D5 version of it. Which is, I could put the pump right there and mount it on the triple rat to find my case. And then the first thing goes to the triple rat into the GPU. I'll explain you more in that detail, but I want to focus more on the unboxing. So, also one more thing I forgot to mention. That the, the revision one didn't have. It comes with longer screws. So basically, this thing will screw all the way to your to the to this hole into the pump and then to the top to the uh, to the pump top breast that's it 
So that's all comes with. Now I'm going to show you these other two. Let me get this out of the way. So this right here is a cool ass top. So you put this is compatible only with 60 millimeters. So you put it, it's going to be just like this, and this is how the Sundar Res comes in box. In the box itself. So this is a 60 by 80 millimeter res. So they have one, I think, I believe is 120, and I think a 200 something, which I don't know that on top of my head. And they also have the smaller one. They have, I think, a 51 and a 31 one. The reason why I went with this one, and I want to thank, um, to Ted, I mean, Ted from, um, I mean, excuse me, Todd from Cool Hands. I sent him the picture of my case. And I told him, listen, I want to put a cylinder reservoir. I hate bare reservoirs because sometimes they're a little bit pain in the butt. But at the end of the day, it's a kind of back and forth thing, which I'm not going to get into that. So he helped me out. He said, you can go with this one. So I went with this and also went with the, the top itself. So I can fill up the res. So this is it, the end of the line. I hope you guys like this unboxing video. Remember, comment, subscribe. Please be safe. Don't do drugs. And happy Halloween. Have fun. And I'll talk to you guys later. Good night. Goodbye.